Yo, yo, welcome to lesson 46. Today, we're going to learn how to display components in React based on certain conditions. And here's a quick demo of what we will be building in this lesson. Let's get started. Conditional rendering is super easy in React. So there are a few ways to do this. So first, let's talk about the if statements. So for this card component, we can add an if statement here. So we can do if bikes equals equals zero, then we'll return this card. And next, let's write the else statement. And in the case where the likes is not zero, we can just return a paragraph that says, you liked this card. And now let's hit save. And now let's open our terminal and run npm start. Cool. And once everything's ready, scroll down. And for the side up card, let's click like. And as you can see, it disappeared. And instead, we see this paragraph tag, you like this card. And now let's scroll down and now let's click like for this one as well. And as you can see, it also turned into a paragraph. And now let's go back to the code. Cool. So by using an if statement, we can control what we render based on a certain condition. But for this example, an if statement here doesn't really make sense. In most cases, people use an if statement to display a loader when data is loading. And once it's finished loading, it will render the actual content. So now let's get rid of the if statement. And instead, we can add conditionals into the HTML template itself. So inside the HTML to add JavaScript, all we have to do is open the squiggle brackets. And all we have to do is use a ternary operator. Well, basically, we write a condition in the front. So let's do likes equals equals zero. And then we add a question mark. And after the question mark, we can put no, which means if the likes is zero, we're going to display nothing. And then we add a colon. And now let's copy this p tag and put it inside here. And now let's click like. And as you can see, likes one shows up. Likes two, likes three, like four. Cool. So the cards kind of look weird stacked on top of each other. So instead, I refactored the code a bit. I put all the cards inside a container and then I put it inside a row. Then for each of the cards, I turn them into columns. So if you hold command and you click the card, it will take you to the code that defines the card. And for the card, I added a column class, a deflex, and justify content center. And this is the final result. The page looks a lot better compared to before. All right, cool. To end off this lesson, I put everything together. So first things first, inside this card, I added an if statement. So here's checking if likes equals zero, it's going to show a card that has a bun that says click to review Pokemon. And once you click it, it will add one to the likes. And now the likes will update. So this will cause a re-render. So now this statement will be false. And then we go to the next statement. And here we return the original card. And basically I added one more statement here where if likes equals 10, we're going to hide the likes button. And if not, we're going to display the likes button. So this is how the app looks. You can click to review the Pokemon. And if you scroll down, you'll see Psyduck here. And we can review this one and this one as well. And let's spam the like button here. And as you can see, once we hit 10, the like button will disappear. And that's basically it. Using conditionals in React is super powerful. As you can imagine, we can do really cool stuff now. And that's pretty much it for this lesson. Hopefully you learned something new. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.